news is, though, I mean, there were tornado warnings up around Denver. Thankfully, no tornadoes actually touched down. We are still tracking a few storms out there tonight. Nothing as severe as the storms that we had earlier today, and they're not going to last for much longer. Taking you toward midnight, with the exception of a few storms out across Los Animas County and across the plains, everything is going to begin to wind down. Through early tomorrow morning, the clouds will begin to break up. Expect a mixture of clouds and sunshine as you're heading out the door in the morning. We are going to be tracking, though, the return of the storms tomorrow. They should begin popping up right around lunchtime across the high country, and then they'll begin sliding off toward the east. As they do so throughout the afternoon, the storms that we do see, they're going to intensify. We are expecting the potential for heavy rain tomorrow. Could also see another round of hail for some of the stronger storms. We'll start to see those storms just off to the west of I-25 between Colorado Springs and Walsenburg right around 3 o'clock, and then these storms will begin to slide over the interstate between about 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock. Here's a look at 5 o'clock to tomorrow and well you'll notice that we will have some storms to track which could impact your evening drive again tomorrow we'll keep a close eye on it stick with us we'll keep you ahead of the storms taking you into tomorrow evening we'll get a bit of a break between about seven o'clock and eight o'clock but then watch what happens as we take you through about nine o'clock and ten o'clock another round of storms is expected to push through this round of storms associated with the cold front that's going to slide across southern Colorado tomorrow so we are going to keep the storms around into tomorrow night and behind the cold front Temperatures are going to be noticeably cooler. Tomorrow we're in the 80s and 90s. Enjoy the warmth while it lasts because as we take you into Friday, temperatures will drop into the 70s. 70s aren't cold by any means, but it will be noticeably cooler than the temperatures we'll have tomorrow. Factor in more storms Friday afternoon, and that's going to make it feel even cooler than the thermometer says. We'll heat it up to 79 degrees on Saturday. Sunday right now looking to be the warmer of the two weekend days. A 20% chance for afternoon storms both Saturday and Sunday. Monday into Tuesday, temperatures will be in the 80s with temperatures then falling once again next Wednesday. In Pueblo, we'll hit 90 degrees before the thunderstorms roll through. We'll get the cold front tomorrow night. 85 degrees is all we're going to get to on Friday. 87 on Saturday, 88 then Sunday. We'll take the chance for storms out of the forecast. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We'll put them back in, though, next Wednesday. In Canyon City, tomorrow we are expecting a high of 89, 84 on Friday with mid to upper 80. Saturday, Sunday, we'll warm it back into the 90s next Tuesday. But we won't stay there for long. We cool right back down by next Wednesday. In Delaware County, 70. 76 tomorrow, 71 on Friday. Teller County, an area where we are tracking very closely that Sunday forecast. Lots of folks heading up to Pikes Peak for the International Hill Climb on Sunday. And of course, anybody who's been to that event before knows that you can see every single season in the matter of 60 minutes. So yeah. if you are heading up there, just know there is that chance for afternoon thunderstorms, which means wind, hail, even a bit of light snow could be possible on the peak. So make sure that you're ready for all of the elements because definitely not going to be a completely dry, quiet day. Yeah. yeah. Load the car uh, for uh, skiing and for swimwear. Exactly. You, never know. you need it all. Beachwear. <laughs> you need it all. But yeah, stick with us. We'll be tracking that forecast closely. Of course, good morning, Colorado. Weekends at 4 30. All right. Thanks all right. so much. Yeah.